Okay, to those that are watching this, this is me at, a, at the shooting location for a shot of where Jake Scott goes and kills a guy. The last guy that he has to kill right before he fights the final guy. So, right here is where the shot will go down. I'll record the freaking thumbnail of the movie right here, where Jake will stand like this. And then I'll have him make it look like that, and the Rockstar Editor will get a good shot. That way, I can have the guy stand right there, and Photoshop the gun in Jake's hand. But in the actual movie, I'll use a shotgun like this, and send the guy into the water. And it'll be this exact same outfit. And we're almost done the title credits. That's almost done perfectly, so I can pan you over to other shots that we're looking at for the movie. So, yeah. Get our car over. I'll show you that in a sec. So right now, we're at the location where Jake will fight the first group of guys. So let me back up down the street a little bit. So I'll first do a shot of, I guess, Jake at this light. We won't be using this car, but I just wait right here. You'll see three SUVs pulling through. I guess maybe I can do that street. And they'll come in through there. All three of them will um, come in and turn in right here. And there will be three SUVs parked. Three SUVs parked. One there. One here. And one there. Um, I'll have my character drive by in the car. And he'll throw a C4 on the closest one. Closest truck. And then once he does that. They end up. I'll have a conversation between three drivers of the SUVs, and they'll take place in between the one right here and the one right there. And after my now character throws the, S the uh, C4 on the first one right here, I'll have him drive far down this way. Well, actually, he'll continue driving that way. He'll park the car. Then my character will sneak over to somewhere around here and shoot one of the guards. They'll have a dialogue thing, and then. My character will sneak around one of the SUVs, use his cavalry knife, and he'll kill the other guard. And then he'll get into a fight with the other one. Fight with them. And once they're dead, he'll end up coming over to... Well, actually, he probably won't use this gun, he'll use a suppressed pistol. I'll get rid of the flashlight. And then he'll come over. I'll do a shot of him walking towards here. There'll be a knock on the door, and then it'll flash to the guys inside. Inside, there'll be a shot of the guys discussing over here, something, a dialogue, well, it'll show them inside and out, then they'll look at the door right here, and, they'll, and there'll be a knock sound effect. My character, they'll have a line of dialogue, and they'll, then they'll have it pan back over to this shot. Where it has two of the first guards walking over, and then I'll trigger the C4 on the um, SUVs. So, let's get back outside. SUVs will explode, killing two of the guards as they walk by towards them. And then, what will happen is, a character will kill the other three guards, using a regular pistol, killing three guards. And then, we'll face off against the last one. Last the main guy and shoot him. Probably somewhere right around there. That way it gets in an, an interactive shot. And that's that scene. Let's also drive over to 
Um, LSIA. Oh god, there's gonna be people over there, but it'll be our chance to show you guys the plane scene that I plan on doing. Let's get over there. So I guess I'll switch it to a different lobby. Okay, so we spawn back in a new lobby. This is actually the garage to where my character will end up being able to walk back through. This is the garage that he's going to use for his cars. And right now I'm using the car that he's going to be using in the movie. So let's get back over to... Actually, is there any place that we can go first? I was looking around this general area for a somewhat area for a drug lord, so let's drive over there and see if that's the right area. This is actually a pretty cool area that I could use for one of my movies. This is actually a really general area for a bunch of the thugs. that I've been looking for. We actually found it. I think it's this one. So what I'm looking for is definitely an area like this. In this area, I, in this scene, I'll be wearing this costume. The main thing that I gotta be able to do is I gotta make sure that I can get up on the roof. So let's try right here. That did not work so well. There we go. Okay, so we got we're able to get on the roof in this location, which is exactly what I need to be able to do. So I'll end up getting on the roof. There'll be a woman shooting at me from there. I'll start shooting some guys here. And then I believe there was an opening right here where I'm going to fall. If I clear the first one, is Yeah, and then I was gonna I was actually hoping if there was one where I could actually fall directly. But then from there, I fall in through that area, jump over that fence, there's a guy right here. I shoot him, I steal his bike, and I ride off. First, uh, that's the second guy that I kill in the movie. There's that. And now that we got that, let's go back over to LSIA. Now, for LSIA, this is where the main shot of, or this is the main intel shot, finding out all the info where Tony, where Tommy wants Jake to go to kill these guys. He tasks him to kill three guys. Third guy, he has to prove it that he can handle them, so he has to kill two guys. <laughs> So, we hope you're very happy, sir. What I plan on doing is I plan on having my Nimbus spawn right here, and I drive in, 
I go in, I have a bunch of SUVs here. A few armed guards. I say good morning, Mr. Scott. Yeah, I'm not going to be wearing this outfit. I'm going to be wearing the red one. I'm going to say good morning. There will be a bunch of guys here. And they'll say, Tommy's on the plane, I can get in. I'll make sure to have a few guys inside the plane. That way I can actually, when I get in, hopefully I'll be sitting right across from the guy. So I'll have a few other guys inside this plane. That way, just in case. And I won't be in first person. I'll have my, I'll have the guy be in first person. That way I can get some good shots of him drinking alcohol and smoking a cigar as we have our conversation. And he'll tell us the intel. And then when we're done, I'll get out of the plane. I'll walk back to my car and basically it'll start that first shot where I showed you at that warehouse. I also plan on doing this one shot inside a Los Santos Customs, so go to the one right over here. This is the one. Okay, so we're reaching the area right now, and basically the way it would work is, right after going to that warehouse shot, I have my character's car get shot up a lot. So, I don't know how I plan on doing that, I guess. I don't know what I want to do, but I guess right after I blow up the, um, right after I blow up the SUVs, basically it was supposed to have me wait on the corner, and my character would blow up the SUVs, and then he would drive in in this, his car would get shot up a lot, then he'd shoot some of the guys, and from getting shot up a lot, he would come here. And I'd have to do that instantly, because I'd need a guy in here. That way... That way I can nail this shot where he comes in, the car's broken. I'll have someone have a car right in there, that way it looks more professional. The guy won't be there, because by then... By then, his body will be fine. So I'll get out of the car. I'll have a line of dialogue with my guy, with the guy in here. Okay, so my character's gonna get over here. I was basically seeing it as my character would drive past, would see the two guards, and then he would go and park right over here. Actually, no, he wouldn't park over there. He'd park in this building. Park right over here. In this parking lot. He would sneak out, wearing a suit. There would be no cameras here, so... There would basically be... Actually, what I was thinking is he would hit the one guy, or... It's not now that I think about it. <laughs> San Kuda right now and as we're doing this I have to get in there and actually what I have to do is I have to get a few of my guys in around six people they go with me one of them has to be my friend Sarah who has to be the final boss lady okay I go in here there's gonna be instantly guys shooting at us so what I gotta do is I have to legit just run in instantly into this building there's gonna be a guy that I have to kill And there's a pair thing of stairs. Actually, I want to see what happens when I go to this elevator. I think it does a loading screen. You scumbag! Okay, my 
character caught on fire. Okay, so we're not going to use that elevator. It's actually going to be an instant cut from us going in. There's going to be a basic shot of me walking right over into the stairwell right here. There's going to be a guy shooting. I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to get into a fight with someone right here. I'm fighting. Kill a few more guys. And eventually we're going to make it up this stairwell. I haven't done the full choreography, but I'm thinking about having a few more enemies. We make it up this stairwell, killing a few enemies, and then okay, this is a good. This is a good thing. There's going to be a lot of enemies, so my character can. There is there a way to look up? I can look up and see all these enemies. I'm not going to shoot at them instantly, but we're going to get up this thing. <laughs> Alright, and then we're gonna get up here on the sixth floor. And right as I walk through this door, there's a way to walk through this door. I'm instantly gonna get punched by someone. Oh, well, actually, I can't walk through this door. I'm gonna get up this thing. I'm gonna get punched right here. Which is going to be my friend Sarah. She's gonna literally punch me. I'm gonna walk up these steps and I'm gonna get into a fight scene with this person. And yeah, let's see, is there actually a camera room in here? Actually, I can do the fight in here also. I can punch, I can go run in, punch her. She falls in through there. I rush in, get into a little fight. We kick the shit out of the stuff. Eventually, I'll start. I can shoot a few of these things. She can punch me. We get back into another scuffle. A few stuff goes flying. I end up shooting out one of the cameras. Shoot out a few of the computers. You know, an all around good time. Yeah, shoot out. And shoot a camera. Get back into the fight. And then eventually I can finish her. And I can end up getting her right over there. And I can shoot her in the head. And when we're done with that shot, I can basically have my character go in. And go in through this elevator. And it'll do a pan to where my character goes literally into that one shot as if you're going into a um, going into a what's it called an office so let me animate as if it is that I walk in through here basically it won't say that we'll be in some other you, crew boss. so and I'll probably oh hi so long I'll basically do a shot of me just walking through here. A woman will scream. She'll get shot. I definitely won't show that. And I'll walk in and have a guy in the chair. That guy in the chair is going to be the main the main guy that I have to kill. And he ends up getting a drink. He dies. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. And this will be at during night. So this will be basically the area where we actually record it. So yeah, I'll probably do an... If someone else can sit in those chairs, then I'll let it happen in there in this apartment. If not, I'll just have to do a shot of me Our walking in. Leader. And yeah, I'll just walk in, blam, shoot the guy, and that'll be the end of the thing. Then I'll actually go into someone else's apartment. Someone else will. I'll have it take place in the main one. But yes, those are the shots of my movies. Uh, I have more shots okay. planned, but I can't spoil all of it. So this is as much as I can show you guys right now, but you'll be seeing the movie soon enough, so I'll actually start filming soon. So, there you go. Peace.